the first and the second derivative of a parametric function. So in this video I want to go over how to find the first and the second derivative of a parametric function. So let's say x is equal to, x is defined by x is equal to 4 t squared and y is defined as uh, 3t minus 1. So the question is we want to find dy by dx we want to find dy by dx and d squared y by dx squared. The first and the second derivative. The second derivative is the derivative of the first derivative. So let's first find dy by dx. So from this, differentiating with respect to t, d by dt, dx by dt is 8t. Okay, and differentiating this with respect to t, you can say dy by dt, dy by dt is equal to 3. Okay, so now dy by dx, dy by dx is dy by dt, dy by dt divided by dx by dt. Okay, now what is dy by dt? We know dy by dt is 3 and dx by dt is 8t. So this dy by dt is, you can write 3 over 8 times t raised to negative 1. I'm writing like this because I'm going to, we want to differentiate this later. So this is your first derivative. And now we want to find the second derivative. So what's the second derivative? So there is a formula, but I don't like to give you the formula. So you want to find the derivative of the first derivative is the second derivative. So well, that is d by dx of dy by dx. d by dx of dy by dx. Well, that is equal to, let me write it down. That's equal to d by dx of what? What is dy by dx? That is 3 eighth of t raised to negative 1. Now here we are hit with the problem. Here you want to differentiate 3 over 8t to the power negative 1 with respect to x. So this is in terms of t and here you want to differentiate with this uh, with respect to x. Now that's not possible. So well, what if we can say well that's same as d by dt of 3 8 of t to the power negative 1 times you have written d by dt in place of d by dx. So if you want to cancel this dt and bring this dx back, I have to write dt by dx. dt by dx. So this is basically the formula. So where you can differentiate this with respect to t and this dt and this dt gets cancelled, so what remains is d by dx of 3 8 of t to the power negative 1. So now d by dt of 3 8 of t to the power negative 1 is 3 8 times, differentiating this, you have negative 1 times t to the power negative 2 times dt by dx. Okay, now what is dt by dx? Okay, so yeah, so let me bring this out. So we know dx by dt, dx by dt is 8t over 1. So if you take the, make the reciprocal of that, so if you want to find dt by dx, if you do the reciprocal of this, you have to also do the reciprocal of this, which is 1 over 8t. So dt by dx is 1 over 8t. So in place of dt by dx I can write 1 over 8t. So simplifying this you can say well this is 3 8 or negative 3 8 times 1 over t squared times 1 over 8t. 1 over 
1 over 8t. So simplifying this, you can say d squared y by dx squared in terms of t would be, this is negative 3, 8 times 8 is 64, and t squared times t is t cubed. So the second derivative in respect of t, or in respect to t, is minus 3 over 64 t cubed.